So we've just come through Indian Head. Now we're making our way around the top of the head here towards Champagne Pool, Wadi Point. But the race is on now. We've got to try and get to Nagala Rocks to get through the uh, coffee rocks and then all that soft sand so we can get all the way to the top of Sandy Cape. the map we've just come out onto Orchid Beach um, so it's pretty nice little drive through there there's definitely some spots along there that we want to check out on the way back but as Tim said before we've really like got to make sure that we get up here before the tide uh, changes so um, we're on our way up Orchid Beach heading all the way up to Sandy Cape right at the very top tip So what we've got to drive through, go around, and look at that, they're coming out the other side. Made it. Nagala rocks. Did conqueror. Not conquer us. <laughs> Didn't even need the Prado to tow him through. <laughs> okay, time to head back to the car. We need to catch the tide. Get the tide through Nagala Rocks, negotiate that again. Yeah, coming through, she's a bit bumpy there. Holy dolly. Around the corner now. No problem at all. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, through, no worries. Holy dolly, that was unbelievable. Bouncy, bouncy. That road has been so cut up, that track by four drivers. That was great fun. 
<laughs> I nearly did the same thing. <laughs> went, on, went on the wrong rock there, oh, far out, that would have been. The drop? Yeah. We would have been like, <laughs> I, I actually had oh. to land on the anchors and stop uh, and reverse uh, back up. <laughs> far out, that was funny because I saw that and gone, oh, that is where you're yeah. following your tracks. Right, I know. Wow, that was just fun. <laughs> Such fun. Well guys, we uh, negotiated Nagala Rocks for the second time. How uh, do you reckon that all went? Uh, besides almost uh, nose diving up a cliff, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> uh, those, you really want to try and test out that Colorado, don't you mate? I'm pretty happy that I actually stopped in the worst part, backed up and then drove out of it without any help. Yeah, that's right, that's good, that's good. So here's some tips for you when you come to Fraser Island. Three things, which is an absolute must for any four-wheel driver that comes to Fraser Island. First of all, buy yourself a good set of Max Tracks. Uh, you may not need them. The key is when you're over here is to get your tires down according to the conditions. So you don't know if you need them or not, but at least you've got them there if you get yourself into a lot of trouble. The second main thing you'll absolutely need coming to Fraser is one of these. You can get yourself some deflators and let them down, but just having a tyre gauge, you can put your tyre pressure down to around 18 psi is, is a pretty good standard tyre pressure for most of Fraser. But when you come up to Nagala Rocks, uh, that would be different. You mean you'll have to drop them down to at least 15, maybe even 12, and you'll have no problem getting through there this whole trip we haven't even needed the max track so I thought I was going to need them for Jamie's Colorado but in the end he was able to get through all the conditions in the Colorado by just letting his tire pressure down according to the condition. The other absolute must thing you must have when you're coming to Fraser for driving is invest in a good little pump. Getting yourself a good pump this is the Adventure Kings Thumper um, Max, it uh, works awesome. It puts these tyres up really quick. So um, when you're going through places like Nagala, you come out the other side and you just put them back up to around 18 PSI. Um, and then when you're coming back to the barge and you're gonna now, we're gonna now hop on the barge, you can put your tyres straight back up to 38 or 40, whatever you set your tyres normally on. So these are my three absolute must if you come to Fraser. So Jamo on your rig, what would you absolutely recommend? Well, I talked about tyre pressure, I talked about the gauge and max tracks for coming here to Fraser. Got any other useful tips for anyone coming here for driving over on Fraser? Okay, great mate, just bought me one of these. Um, fantastic idea, you'd want to take uh, your ball and hitch out. Uh, too dangerous to be hooking up a, uh, a uh, snatch strap up to your ball. Should always hook it up to a, a rated shackle or around your, your tow bar. <laughs> uh, recovery gear. I um, keep it nice and handy in, in my craw. Um, makes it nice and easy to get to if you're in the event of something. It's right there, easily accessible. So what do you got in your recovery gear? You got I got a couple of um, 12 ton snatchies, a um, couple of big shackles, having a set of jumper leads, a few spares, bits and pieces, a few tools, uh, just in case, because you, when you're out here and if you're up at Sandy Cape and you're isolated and something goes wrong, um, you've got nowhere to go, nothing you can grab. So just having that gear easily accessible is really good. Good preparation is the key. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, be prepared. Um, tire pressure, like you said, that's that's just awesome. You can even drive around in two-wheel drive a lot of the time if you've uh, got your tire pressure nice and low. Um, makes it super easy, less strain on the vehicle too. Yeah. Great tips there, so there you go, there's some uh, useful tips when you come to Fraser Island and make sure you put your tyre pressure down because what it does, if you don't, it just chews up the tracks and then the local people here, they have to work, it's really corrugated for them and that and it's not good pleasant for anyone else for all of us driving on corrugated tracks so tyre pressure down and you'll have a great time over here at Fraser.